Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Casper Network, aka Casper. So let's just dive in and let's talk about a few things. So first and foremost, I just released a new Casper uh, poster on my website, officialcryptoposters.com. Um, I believe that we have another oh wow this is actually the first casper poster that we have done i did not know that wow uh so this is actually officially designed by me you guys are more than welcome to go check it out um it is 29.99 uh this does not include shipping but if you guys do want to go check it out you guys are more than welcome to you probably seen it on twitter goodbye ethereum hello casper you guys are more than welcome to go check it out like i said um this is designed by me officially all the posters on here are there's a ton of them on here as well if you guys are a big fan of some other major projects we also to have this new uh, this didn't happen because of luck poster you guys are more than welcome to go look uh, see what you guys want um, you can browse around whatever the case may be links are down in the description below as well as in the comments below it does help to support the uh, channel and stuff like that so you know thank you all for anyone that is gonna go check it out and stuff like that but with all that in mind let's talk about a few things so over here, top 15 coins by Lunar Crush uh, Galaxy Score. Galaxy Score, a proprietary score that is constantly measuring crypto against itself with respect to the community metrics pulled in from across the web. And we do see Casper making the list right next to KDA and also Algorand, which you love to see. Um, I think that's funny that Casper and Algorand are actually below Dogecoin on here or even Shiba Inu. Um, but... You could also see like the social, you know, impact score, the average sentiment, and even the price score. Uh, most of these did kind of score around the same exact range, uh, except for Casper scoring in about like a 2.2. And then you also do see the average sentiment. I think that that is where, you know, you see like kind of Casper making up some grounds, but it was just not enough to compete with some of these other ones. But I look forward to the day where, um, you know, Casper is number one and uh, Casper is like a, a, a top you know, five projects, for example. Um, I think that at some point in time, Casper could ultimately make it into like the top 10 list on CMC, for example, uh, which would be monumental, not only for the price action, but also for anybody who is holding Casper. I think that Casper is a token that is going to change a lot of individuals' lives. And I think that it's going to really kind of open a lot of individuals' eyes to, you know, why you want to get in on these projects early. Because, like, this is where you do see the 100x gains. I mean, like, a $3 Casper would be like that like that is life changing to me um and i think that's life changing to almost anyone out there i mean like this is 100x gains uh territory so when you think about that you know a thousand dollars could ultimately change your life uh just having that invest into you know casper or even a hundred dollars so you know with that being said let's also talk about why i believe that casper could ultimately do a 100x or you know be a major token in the next major run so shout out to kevin cage uh we do see casper disruption in the gaming industry has been long overdue and casper's proof of stake blockchain is the perfect solution to empower game creators and players everywhere with an ecosystem that supports creation play and resale with a verified chain of ownership and uh yeah i think that this is awesome to see there's also this nice little video down here it looks like a lot of individuals are actually, you know, warming up to what Casper is doing and what they are becoming. And uh, listen cl uh, uh, quickly for, you know, a minute and 30 seconds. Um, and I think that this is perfect in regards to, like, the description around Casper and why it is going to be a huge uh, monumental moment um, in time for anyone that wants to get in on an awesome opportunity in crypto. And it's the reason why I also have Casper on my list. The ability to change smart contracts after they've been deployed is a game changer. Mm. Not only for these smaller projects, you know, NFTs and games and stuff, but for when, when commercial enterprises are coming and building blockchain versions of their platforms, you know, we're talking about multi-billion dollar companies handling money or data from millions and millions of people. If they need to make a change to their smart contract or there's a vulnerability or a hack, they need to be able to change that smart contract in real time rather than taking it down, having you know days of downtime like Solana or something has had, and then all these people can't access whatever they need to do on the blockchain. It has to be able to be done in real time. You know, when you look at outages for corporations, these things can cost them billions of dollars and millions of customers. So the ability to change a smart contract in real time, which I, I believe Casper is the only one doing this, mm. 
for me, that's like, yeah, massive. Yeah. So if you're looking for the next Solana, the next Ethereum, you know, one of those ones that could really do a 200X, this, this one has to be on the list. And one of the reasons, again, why I have this token on my list is the chart looks like a, a one that I talked about earlier, which is Moonbeam. Mm. You know what? Only IDO didn't really get that hype during this bull run. So if you look at the chart, it's 98% down. That's great. So I, I want to buy low and sell high. Yeah. So this thing has not had a hype run yet. It has never pumped. And so I'm looking for next bull run. Casper could pump. And it seems like it doesn't get any coverage. Like I never see anybody talking about no, it. No, that's why I like it. Yeah. Yeah. And that is the truth. Like nobody's really talking about Casper. Uh, could it do a 200 next move? Yeah, I think it can. I mean, honestly, like you look at the, the price chart for it and, it and it hasn't experienced a bull run. You know, it's, it's down in the depths. It's, you know, extremely low right now in price action. I've been accumulating and I've been accumulating heavy. And also talking about this uh, innovation with robot cache. Yeah, I mean, it will let PC gamers play, earn rewards and even sell games on the Casper network. This is awesome. Incredible opportunity. And uh, yeah, I mean, like this is going to be earning rewards on the Casper network in over 150 countries. So it's going to see a lot of, you know, adoption. The Web3 opportunity here for like retail is going to open the doors for mass adoption. And, uh, you know, disruption in the gaming industry has been long overdue and Casper's proof of stake. Blockchain is the perfect solution to empower game creators and players everywhere with the ecosystem that supports creation, play, and resale with er with a verified chain of ownership. It's thrilling to see Robot Cache bring its diverse content library and customer-centric platform to the, uh, to the Casper network, and we look forward to supporting their growth within our rapidly expanding ecosystem. Digital gaming and esports rank among the fastest growing industries today, and I'm excited to see the world's first blockchain-based marketplace for video games being built on Casper. Yeah, I think that this is awesome, um, and I think that like the Web3 scene on Casper has been rapidly expanding, so I think that this is a focus point. I think that everyone should be focused on this, and yes, this goes back to July 14th, um, and since then, uh, and by the way, July 14th of 2021, so in a year. Uh, we still have seen a lot of updates around Robot Cache. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of updates around a lot of the partnerships within Casper, which we could possibly get to uh, here soon in this video. But if we don't, it's okay. Um, I also want to talk to you guys about a few other things happening from Casper Network. And that is individuals finally finding out about Casper. Shout out to Crypto Commander on Twitter. This is um, a hunter of 100x game, or sorry, uh, gems. And yeah, like when we look at like the gains on Casper, this could be a 100x. And this is an individual that has 88.5k followers on Twitter. Casper Network is an interesting project that I came across this week. First POS built off the Casper CBC specification designed by Ethereum devs. Future-proofed, upgradable contracts with predictable gas. Casper bullish on Casper 2.0. Zug protocol release as well. And uh, yeah, for those individuals out there that are waiting for you know some updates about Casper 2.0, yeah, here you have the new roadmap, new wallet, and new update. Shout out to Rekt Wojak for this, but uh, it's coming to you know Casper here soon. Uh, it's a minute and 53 seconds. Listen closely for this. Theodore, I want to hear more about the upcoming roadmap for Casper and what are some of the catalysts that you see on the Casper network? We are planning for the next three months and uh, Q4, it looks very interesting for us, both on the core side and ecosystem. Uh, on the core side, we are working towards 2.0 release, which is like a big thing. It will be, uh, it will be introduced to, uh, with a new consensus algorithm, so that should improve the overall efficiency of the network. And we are planning to uh, really tinker with all the things that uh, were left uh, alone, you know, during the small upgrades of the network. So stay tuned for the final scope. I cannot really reveal all the big things that are coming, but they are very interesting for the developers and for the users. Uh, in terms of catalysts, I think that it's worth to mention that we are constantly improving our ecosystem tools, and uh, especially when it comes to the um, interacting with the Web3 uh, websites, you know that we have Casper Signer. Casper Signer is a robust tool, but uh, it could have uh, a little bit of redesign in, ter in terms of user experience. And I can already reveal that uh, the scope will be so big that we decided to change the brand for Casper Signer. The next iteration on Casper Signer will be called Casper Wallet. And um, um, as the Signer was off-chain tool that was more uh, to sign the transactions, Casper Wallet will be an uh, on-chain tool connected to the network when you would be also able to check your balance, do some operations without accessing any um, additional websites. So that will be huge. 
What is also important to mention is that uh, the wallet itself would be much more um, available in terms of the uh, environments that you can install on it. So um, now we have only Chrome and Brave. We plan to use most of the mainstream uh, browsers as well as mobile devices. And there's going to be a ton of more updates around Casper and upgrades as well. I'm excited for the new wallet. Right now, I am storing most of my Casper in a staking mechanism. Um, I look forward to storing it in a new wallet. I do believe that you can store it on Ledger. You guys probably seen the Ledger ad behind him in this video. Uh, so I'm pretty sure you could still, you know, hold it on Ledger. I might do a video on how to store it and how to move it off of like MEXC for an example. Uh, we might do a discussion on that and uh, really kind of do an in-depth tutorial. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited for the future. And listen, you know, a lot of these individuals that will find out about Casper, it's because of the, innov you know, the innovations from Casper's side. Uh, shout out to Kevin Cage again, but we do see like, you know, what new layer one slash chains below a $500 million market cap or being built right now are doing cool things. And this is from Alex Becker, 847.4K followers. Um, you know, we, I, I did retweet this and really kind of like it because it is remarkable to say the least on the potential behind Casper. We do see here, you know, Casper dude spoke at Davos World Economic Forum, one of the only cryptos mentioned on IBM's site as a new partner. Fortune 500 companies, banks, and telecoms, over 80 full-time employees take a look. And uh, yeah, I mean, like this is becoming an enterprise giant, very similar to like Hedera, for an example. And we do see like Goal, you know, Casper Mainnet. Here's like Ethereum 2.0. Here's Ethereum 3.0, 2023 to 2024. And that that isn't even like, you know, confirmed yet. We do see pure proof of stake based on CBC Casper. Casper Mainnet, yes. You know, web assembly, smart contracts, plus solidity. Yes. You know, in research for Ethereum 3.0. Shards, 2021, Casper mainnet. Yeah. Uh, Ethereum 2.0, no. Ethereum 2.0 phase 1, 2022 to 2023, yes. And Ethereum 3.0, yes. Uh, here we have math, math, uh, sorry, mathematically secure and live, including DDoS uh, protection. Yes. Statistically in research, in research. Again, like you can kind of just see the comparisons here between Casper, Ethereum 2.0, and even Ethereum 3.0. Like this is why I say like we're years ahead of what Ethereum is going to try to like set out to be. And uh, here you have some more comparisons between Hedera Hashgraph, Hyperledger Fabric, Algorand, Ethereum Tezos, and even, you know, Cosmos. Again, like this is why Casper is so special. Like this is why I have been accumulating Casper. I mean, like I, I, I just think that Casper going forward has incredible price action written all over it. Um, I, I, in the next cycle, I, I really do think that Casper is going to shock a lot of individuals. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe to the notifications on. If you guys have more free content, you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord down in the description below. As it was up to you all, have a beautiful day. Be from whatever you guys are in this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.